the concrete crew is here dark and early. Started at 6.30. We're gonna pour this slab today. It is gonna be cold in the foreseeable future. Like over the next two weeks, in the 20s at night. Ideally it'd be 32, but apparently you can lay down blankets. So we found some blankets last minute yesterday. What happened to your hair? This is what happened. I got wet. <laughs> this is what happened, yeah. Got I'd wet. say so. The cement mixer's already here. That many eggs. See, I was nervous because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to concrete. And are they doing it right? They're cutting corners, but uh, got Big Daddy down here. What do you think, Big Daddy? Does it look all right? Yeah. Okay. This is normal. Just they're lifting it up as they go. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to get it at least a couple inches off the bottom, okay. but in the middle, preferably. They've got guards around the poles. Yeah, I wanted to uh, protect your uh, your gutter. You need to put, yeah. You need okay. To get something. Yeah. Some kind of plastic and tape or something around yeah. that gutter. But he says it's all right, and he's this is this was his job. The general contractor did a lot of concrete in his life, so we're in good hands now. One concrete truck leaves, another one comes. There's gonna be a total of five. Round one. Don't mind the cow mooing. Don't mind the concrete trucks blaring. So we were able to milk her out. Yes, last three times in a row. So today, we're just gonna milk her this morning. We're gonna give her the calf. We're just going to milk her once. We're going to keep her down here tomorrow, too. And then if all goes well, tomorrow morning, we'll get her back out with everybody else. The concrete, the slab is being poured for our pole barn. I, once that's done, normally it takes about a week to cure. To be able to drive anything on there, to be able to get these uh, skid steers in there with the wood chips and stuff. Or the tractor. Probably gonna be two weeks, and that gives me some time to get it set up too. So it's gonna be an exciting couple of weeks. Round two. Mm. I'm curious to see if she'll nurse on that one now. She's been avoiding it because it's been clogged. Come on, come on, honey. Come on. I want you to get that one. It's not clogged anymore. Yeah, oh well, she'll, she'll try. This is a good day. This is an expensive day. But why, why? Well, this is an investment to me. This is a message to my grandchildren. If you ever watch this, this is how much I love you. And I don't even know you yet. All right, filtering out the milk. Gonna make yogurt today. Look who's back. Let's see the size coffee. After two water lines busted <laughs> and a washing machine falling, I think uh, he come back with an extra large. <laughs> I also told him I could just make coffee all day long. Yeah. I'm on call. Whatever it takes, you keep you going. You just say, I need more coffee, Rebecca. I'll just get you more coffee. We got really good Hawaiian coffee. Do you really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Beans. We'll, we we'll grind them for you, too. We the farm when yeah. we went to Hawaii in 2017, and so I still yeah. buy from them. I just keep it in the freezer because we don't drink that much coffee. Do you like it just black? 
I like a little cream. Well, we got hey, we'll give you our cream, cream from our cow. From our cow. Hawaiian he's coffee. Like, he's like, oh, man, this is getting better. We'll get you some Hawaiian coffee. <laughs> cream from our cow. That'd be good. Yeah. Okay. I'm making my own yogurt because, well, it's raw. And it's what you call A2A2, which is easier to digest. Now, it's maybe, maybe not as consistent. I'm not as good as the people making yogurt once you get in the store. That's one of those cases where the store yogurt actually tastes better. I think it's just me trying, I just need to perfect this. You know, get the temperatures right. I brought the raw, the milk up to 110. Technically still raw. I did it fresh from the cow. So this is the, the fresh cow's milk. And I used a store-bought starter to just be consistent instead of my yogurt starter. If y'all know I've been doing a carnivore-ish diet. I, I think you could call it the animal-based diet. A guy I follow on Instagram, Carnivore MD. Oh boy, you can't see that. You just have to look him up. Carnivore MD on Instagram. He gives lists of the encouraging fats and proteins. Fat, one of the fats being A2 dairy. I add raw to that to make it even better. And then allowing some carbs like honey, some sweet fruits, He's and some non-sweet fruits. Most excited about the intro of the banana. I bet you're excited about zucchini. <laughs> I don't think I'm excited about any of the non-sweet fruits except for oh, avocado. Oh, 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 so maybe we'll have some guacamole with our duck tacos tonight. Hey, Randolph. Hey. What's the plan in here today? Today we're gonna to take a take a shower out and take that ball out. And okay. Then maybe might start taking some towel. Oh, fun. Guess what? Got you some Hawaiian coffee ready. Come on. Take a break. Put some cream in it. Here you go. Is the shower Freshly out? ground. Here's your cream. Ooh. Oh yeah, as much as you want. Is it too hot for you? <laughs> it's a good. Okay, good. Yeah. Good job, guys. Got the shower out. Now you're gonna rip out the tile. Yeah. I think so. It looks like it's going to be quite the duty. Yeah, it's going to be two days of that probably. Yeah, okay. A little piece at a time. All right, Jonah's got his mask on to protect him from dust. Look what's here. That's, the, I think that's the blankets. That must be, they're almost done. The sun out is a really good thing. So they're gonna let this cure for a little bit and then they're gonna uh, saw into it and block it up, I guess, because concrete's gonna crack no matter what you do. So they're gonna go ahead and, I guess, pre-crack it in an orderly fashion. So it won't look as bad or crack as bad, I guess. And after that, we'll, uh, we'll tarp it. The sun, though, it's, it's tickling me. Like, we really needed this. And it's low right now and it's hitting right there. It's just perfect. Okay, so we're hoping to put our initials in this so my grandkids will know what's up. <laughs> oh yeah, you still can. But we can't put our hands in it. No. You just write all our initials, Papa. I'm gonna write. So they remember who made this. We should have done it right away, really. Can you read what it says? Parent, you're big. Big Papa. So my grandkids know who built this. I was thinking maybe we should put Nana. Get in, don't Because okay. I'll be Nana when you're Big Papa. Big Daddy says try down here. Come on. What are you going to put? Oh, that's doing real nice down here, Beck. Nice. Okay. That did good down here. Hey, if you're going to sign your name, you want to do it down here. Everybody's making their stamp. Put the biggest stamps right down there. Make them a mark. <laughs> 